Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Third Angle. Today we are going to learn the software called DraftSide, which is basically used for editing or generating a DXF file. It is a cheaper alternative of AutoCAD. So the first thing we are going to learn is how to download the DraftSide. So go to DraftSide.com. Here you will see two options, buy now and download. When you click on buy now, you will see three options, DraftSide Standard, DraftSide Professional and DraftSide Premium. I would recommend you guys to buy a DraftSide Standard as it gives you all the options that you might need for generating a 2D file or editing a 2D file. When you finish downloading the draft side and you open the software, you will see this window. The first thing is our title bar, which is used for minimize or maximize the draft side window. Our title menu, you will see the pull down menu, which has three options, 3D modeling, classic and drafting an annotation window. When you go to classic view, your all the commands are all over the place. I would recommend you guys to use drafting and annotation window. The next thing is our pull down menu where you can select all the commands for from pull down menu, which are like open the file, save the file or print and all that stuff. The next thing is our toolbar, which has all the commands, which is a second alternative to use the commands. The other thing you can do is you can directly type the command which you want to use. Beneath the toolbar, there is our graphic window. The next thing is our command window where you can see the command you have chosen to use and it will guide you what will be the next step. So this is our main window. Whenever we generate a DXF file or edit a DXF file, we always need to look at our command window. The next thing is our status bar. This area has all the handy tools for selecting your eSnap, eTrack, your Polar, your Ortho and all that stuff. The next thing is our shortcut menu. When you right click on your graphic window from your mouse, you will see your shortcut menu where you can see the options under that you will see your drawing settings and drafting settings these things you can change when you are creating a dxf file or editing a dxf file so our basic keys from the keyboard is escape enter and spacebar when you hit escape it will cancel your command that you have selected when you hit enter it will execute the command when you hit spacebar, it will basically work like your enter key. If you need a help at any time from the draft side, you can hit F1 and then you will have all the help menu from the draft side. So that's it for today's video guys. Stay in touch and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.